All right, so while you're figuring that out, I'm going to talk to my audience. Hello, audience. My name is Amy. I'm with BookTubing Amy, and today I have an interview with Larissa Ione. Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's working on trying to blast the social media feed of where our YouTube link is. Uh, but today we are discussing her new Moonbound Clan vampire series. That's a mouthful. Um, and this is the one I've recently received, Chained by Night, and I loved it. I gave it five star, as I hope all of you saw. All of my subscribers watched every single one of my videos, I'm sure. Um, but this is the first one in her series. Whoop. There we go. I have, it on, I have it on Kindle, so I can't then really have the physical book. But as you can see, the rest of her series are up here with my beautiful new geeky pumpkin. But I love the pumpkin. There we go. That one keeps almost falling over, so if it, if it falls over, I'll be very shocked, but <laughs> it's okay. So are you good with the link? I think so. I think. Um, all right, let me try. I, um, one more second, okay? All right. All right, sorry. Oh, you're good. Let's see. And this is her other series, I'll keep talking, and this is her other series behind her Demonica and then the Lords of Deliverance series, all right here, the rest are on my Kindle, and then, please don't fall over. So this one always keeps falling over. There, the pumpkin is holding it now. But, so yeah, so I've been reading her, I read her through her Chained by Night really quick. I, I walked with it everywhere, which was really funny because I was walking around campus reading that book, chuckling the whole time, and it was so funny. And I walked, it, it was really funny because I was reading and was like, I should be studying for tests, but what happens next? What happens to Hunter next? I must know. <laughs> so I finished rather quickly, and while well, that's a good thing, it's also a bad thing now that I have to wait a year-ish till the next book comes out. Yeah. Right? Maybe less? Maybe less? Maybe. It's going to kind of depend on, um, well, it, well, it's going to depend on how fast I write the book, um, but also it's going to kind of depend on uh, how, okay, yeah, pretty much how much, how fast I can write it. That, that's what it comes down to. Well, well, don't don't stop writing. You can. Do it. <laughs> I want to know what happens in the next book. So, first of all, can you tell you? I'll just obviously introduce yourself. Can you tell me a little bit about your each series? Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, the Moonbound Clan Vampire series, and you're right. That is kind of a mouthful. Uh, you know, I didn't say it out loud. You know, when I came up with it, it was just you know you're rewriting. You don't. I don't actually say things out loud, and so it wasn't until after we already got it all you know done that. I went, oh man, that's really hard to say. So yeah, I didn't, didn't think that one through. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the series is kind of, uh, it's a little futuristic, uh, alternate world-ish, um, and it's set in a world where vampires are the minority and they have been enslaved by humans. And um, so it's really about how the vampires cope with that. You know, there's a lot of infighting between themselves, and then they're fighting the humans, and um, it's really about, you know, the, the vampires trying to survive in a world where they have been taken from their role as alpha predator and, and you know, subjugated. So, um, it's, it's kind of the whole over, you know, the whole arc of the entire series is going to be how they, uh, survive it and how they ultimately win. So that, uh, that's what that's about. Uh, the Demonica series is a series that's set in in and around an underworld hospital run by demons, vampires, werewolves, all kinds of crazy things. Uh, and it also led into the Lords of Deliverance series which is connected and that's about the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Um, and all of that is just really, really kind of blended together and um, uh, so, yeah, those are those two series, and I also write as Sydney Croft, which um, I share that pen name with Stephanie Tyler, who is also writes as Essie Jakes, and uh, the, the series I, I write with her is kind of, we call it erotica meets the X-Men. It's all about, it's very, very erotic, 
Awesome. And uh, it's very much a superhero kind of thing. Oh, that's awesome. So I got to ask, what made you jump from the Demonica series, or yeah, from the Demonica and Lords of Deliverance to the Moonbound Clan Vampire series? Well, that happened because, uh, you know, not everyone wants to read about demons. You know, mm -hmm. as soon as they saw, you know, Demonica, it's about demons, it kind of, it turned a lot of people off. And I really, really, really always wanted to write about vampires. And I also was getting, I was hearing it from all sides from my, uh, from my mom, really, that uh, she wanted something that she would read, and she just wasn't into the demon thing. She wasn't <laughs> the paranormal thing, really, is what it came down to. I wanted something more, um, more mainstream and more accessible for people like her, really. Um, so, uh, you know, I came up with the the Moonbound. Land Vampires series, which is more, um, really, even though it's paranorm paranormal, it's more contemporary in feel, and mm -hmm. that's what I wanted, something that was would appeal to a different reader than my Demonica series appeals to. Um, there's been crossover, for sure, but um, I, I definitely have readers who read the Vampires Vampire series and don't want anything to do with the Demonica series, so... Oh. That's shocking. <laughs> well, I, I, it's, yeah, a little bit. It is. It's it's kind of um, it, kind of different. But then on the other hand, I didn't. Uh, you know, there are people who haven't crossed over from Demonica to Moonbound either. They um, all should. If if your if your followers are me, you all should read both. I'm with you. <laughs> all of them. You should read every single one because they are amazing. Thank you. So. Can you tell us a little bit of, can you give us like a hint about what the next book's going to be about in the Moonbound Clan? I wonder if there's like an abbreviation, M-B-C-V. There you go. <laughs> about the next in the series? Oh, um, about, um, yes, the next one in the series will be, um, you said that you guessed. You yes. said, let's see, that you made a guess. Who do you yes. think? I guessed um, it was... The guy, okay, I cannot remember his name because it escapes me. Oh, uh, but mine. I'm going to guess mine. Hmm? Mine. Yes. Titanium tooth. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, you would be right then. Hooray. Yeah, his, he is going to uh, definitely star in the next book, and his heroine um, is Sab Sabat. She's the one that, uh, she's the tree climbing, you know, female human who hunts vampires. Oh, so, okay. I was yeah. thinking it might be Ra Rash. How, okay, I'm having the difficult time with your character saying Rasha, is that how you say it? Yes, Rasha. yes. I thought yeah. it was going to be her. I was kind of, I was excited and scared all at the same time. Oh, yeah, um, I understand. Um, no, Rasha is, I am not planning on a book for her. I'll, I, you know, I'd never say never, but I... I don't know if she's redeemable or not. You know, she's just she's nasty. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I I don't know if I did. Uh, it would have to be the right story, the right hero, the right time for it. So uh, redeem a really redeemable scene. Yeah, because she didn't just. You know, it's funny because I a lot of my characters have done heinous heinous, horrible things, um, especially in the Demonica series. Mm -hmm. Really awful things. I mean, look at Resef. Um, you know, he one of the four horsemen. He, he destroyed the world, practically. I mean, he, he wiped Australia off the map. And, well, you know, and I, he got a book, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've had the characters do really, really horrible things, um, and then I redeemed them because I love doing that. It's a challenge. But honestly, I'm just not sure if... If I can go there with Rasha, she was just, she was just horrible. <laughs> yeah. I remember in the first 20 pages when they're like running through the forest, I'm like, oh, I hope she dies. <laughs> I've never said that so quick about a character, but I'm like, oh, I hope she dies. How easy would that be for the rest of the book? Yeah, yeah, no kidding. But then, you know, you wouldn't have a, uh, a climax and fighting and can't have that in a book. Can't have it too easy. That's a good so, point. Can you explain the cover titles, Bound by Night and Chained by Night? I was... I understand bound by night because they're you know, bound by night. You can't go out in the day, but chained by night. Can you explain that one more like? Well, actually, when I came up with the original titles, um, the whole by night thing was really important because um, they were going to be very, very much restricted 
to nighttime. Um, these vampires can go out in the day, but night is their realm. Um, but originally I had them so that they couldn't. They were very traditional vampires, no going out in the daylight at all. But then I started thinking, you know, this is a world where they're enslaved. Um, who wants a slave that can only work at night? Oh, yeah. So I had to make them be able to go out, you know, in the day, even though they, you know, they, they do most of their hunting and stuff at night. Um, but by then I already had the titles and everything, and um, so the, you know, it just kind of how that happened. The Bound and the Chained was more of, um, really where I was going with that was, again, the slavery. You know, they feel that they are, even if they aren't enslaved, they are bound by human rules and, and uh, um, you know, chained by human rules. Um, and in Chained by Night, specifically, Aelin has been chained to who she, you know, ha is for all her life. She's been chained down, really, by her horrible family and, and by her deformity and everything else. So, um, you know, that's kind of where they came, that came from. I'm having trouble with the next, <laughs> with the title for the next book, though, because I want to keep the by night thing, but... Um, There's only so many words you can put in front of by night. Yeah, exactly, especially ones that mean the same thing as bound and chained. You know, there's, there's, it starts getting really limited, so, yeah. Hmm. I could have thought that through a little better, too. Well, just write the book, and then we could, I can help you come up with that title together. There you go. I might take you up on that. <laughs> so what's it like with two coming books out, or two books coming out this year? You have Chained by Night, and then you have the Demonic, or the uh, Lords of Deliverance slash Demonica series, uh, Re Revenant? Revenant. Revenant. Revenant, okay. How, how, what's it like having two books coming out this year? Um, well... I usually have two books a year come out, but usually they're within the same series. And uh, this time, well, and actually last year, uh, the same thing happened, one from each series. And then I've also got, uh, I had the Thousand One Dark Nights um, as a goth book came out as well. Um, but I found that by doing that, going releasing from two different series, um, it's kind of diluting things a little bit. Uh, I am not a fast writer. I think it works better for people who write faster and can put out maybe three full-length books a year, three or four. I can't. I can't. Out there. I, I'm just amazed at what they do for three. I know. I'm yeah. amazed at two. I'm like, geez. Right. Yeah. Thank yeah. You, but that's a lot. Yeah. Two is hard enough. Um, and I'm just, I'm a slow writer, so, you know, uh, there's yet another thing I didn't quite think through very well. So what I've done is for next year, um, instead of writing a full-length Demonica Lords of Deliverance book, I'm going to try for two books in the Moonbound series and then write some novellas for, for Demonica. Because I've got two, I've actually got two Demonica novellas coming out next year. Two at least, probably three. Uh, maybe even four. I don't know. It's just going to kind of depend on how how fast I can get them written, and then I'm going to work on really trying to get a couple of Moonbound books, you know, written, you know, just solid Moonbound full length books. So we'll see what happens. Awesome. Now, with every author, you can see the personality bleed through uh, in their words. Like, um, if you're like cocky, like I did a uh, interview with. Tony Leo last time she's like talking so a lot for obviously her her guys play hockey so if you do you have any things like that where you can say yeah I like this so it was in the book that was that was me in the book you have um, if yeah the, anytime you see anything about animals that is me 100 percent totally that's that's me I love animals and I make sure that they play roles in my books and that my characters like animals that's just you know, that is rule number one. A hero will never be a hero if he doesn't like animals. So, um, that, uh, yeah, that's me. And also, maybe just a little bit of the sarcasm is me. Maybe, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yes. Just a little bit. <laughs> I know, authors are some of the sarcastic people you will probably ever meet. <laughs> So my next question is, in Chained by Night, there was a scene where I just totally flipped out. Uh, when Hunter takes Ellen, I'm saying that right, right? Ellen? Ellen. 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 
Okay, oh, yeah. picked her into the library. I'm and I'll start naming my characters like Bob and Sue, just for you. Hmm? I'm going to start naming my characters Bob and Sue, just I'll for you. I'll be able to say them. <laughs> just for me. You're going to have one character in the next book, and it's going to be like Bob, Sue, <laughs> Susan. And I'll be like, oh, she did that for me. Just for you. Just for me. Uh, I'm going to read and look for that certain word. Anyway. So in the scene where they went into the big library, I just, my eyes got big. I had a little fangirl moment. I ran around the house. I yeah, I banged on my roommate's door and said, hey, listen to this. I got to show you what happened. And I had a little, it was, it was an overly big fangirl moment. I'm not going to lie. So I have to ask, I, when I was reading that scene, I had this, like, idea of it was like Beauty and the Beast when they took her to the big library scene and all of us book people went, oh, I want to go there. <laughs> so, did you, just curious, did you get that scene from Beauty and the Beast and kind of like base it off of that or did you just like write it and then, how, how did that work? Actually, you know, you're close. It did kind of come from a fairy tale, but it wasn't Beauty and the Beast. Um, I kind of channeled uh, Ever After in that one. There's this, Have you seen Ever After? I think I've heard about it. Um, it's uh, with Drew Barrymore. Um, it's kind of a Cinderella story. Is that she goes into like the real world, or is that the different? Is that a different one? Yeah, no, that's a different one. She she lives, you know, back then there, and uh, um, it, it's basically a, a Cinderella story, and um, it's it, it's one of my favorites. I absolutely love that movie, despite her accent, but. <laughs> Uh, it, in it, there's a scene where um, the prince takes her to this amazing library. Um, it's set in France, and, and uh, he takes her to this amazing library, and she is just, she's so excited to be there because she loves books, and he's not a big book person, really. It's kind of a lot like um, Hunter, and um, she's just so happy to be in this place where she can smell books and, and touch them and see them because, you know, they didn't, she didn't have any at home. Um, but anyway, yeah, I kind of channeled that scene because uh, Drew Barrymore's character was just so thrilled to be there and the prince was like, yeah, whatever, you know, it's nice, but what's up with you and your excitement about this, you know? <laughs> and um, so, yeah, that's where that was coming from. So, fairy tale, wrong one, but very close. Yeah, I read this book, Stiffing Scene, and I was like, I do that too. It was, it was just so sweet. It was so nice to have that in there. Just like a book lover's happiness. Yeah. Yeah, so my final question is, if you had to sit down, or if you got the chance, you wouldn't really had to, if you got the chance to sit down with one of your characters and have coffee with it with them, who would it be and why? Out of You can do either by series or just total. Um, well, from the Moonbound series, I think that I would really love to sit down either with Nicole or Aelin. Um, Nicole, because she's just, she's so educated, she's got that science background, and I, I find that to be fascinating. Um, you know, you were talking about, uh, is there any of you in your books, and, um, actually, there, within her, there is a lot of me, because I'm just, I'm fascinated by, um, biology and, um, uh, and this is going to sound really terrible, but diseases. I mean, you should see all the books I have on contagious diseases and epidemics. Love it. And, um, and I like everything to be explained scientifically. Um, and so it, she would be fascinating for me to talk to. Um, but I'd also like to talk to Aileen because she's just one of those, one of those women that you would just want to be a friend. You know, um, she's just so, she's, She's nice. She's a good girlfriend. She's not judgmental, and and she's smart. And um, I would really love to sit down and have a cup of coffee with her for sure. Uh, from the Demonica series, hmm, I don't know. Some of the women I wrote there, they scared me. So, <laughs> um, so I don't know. Maybe Serena, because she's you know an animal lover, and and uh, you know, we'd actually probably have a lot to talk about. I grew up on a farm. She worked kind of worked a farm. Um, yeah, so we'll go with that. Awesome. All right, so uh, that's all of my questions. Uh, do you have anything else you'd like to say to the viewers? Um, I just want to uh, thank you for viewing. I'm sorry the links didn't didn't work to get people here, um, but uh, but 
you know, they can watch later. And Perfect. I do want to say to everybody out there, well, first I want to thank you for having me, and I want to say to everybody on our channel. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, but yes, everybody out there, go find your inner reader. She said it. It's so awesome. I love when that happens. So, <laughs> so yeah, everybody who is viewing this, make sure to go pick up her. Okay. <laughs> Reaver, <laughs> I'm awful with names. I can tell you all oh, the names are, are really hard to say. You, you tell them the book that's coming out in December. <laughs> okay. Um, coming up in December, I actually have two releases. One is a Sidney Croft uh, novella um, called Three the Hard Way, um, and it is part of a charity anthology. Um, and uh, so everybody should check that out. It's, it's um, a gay romance, so it's not going to be for everybody, but... Um, if you've read the Sidney Croft stuff, uh, you might want to check it out. Very erotic. Um, and then also from the Demonica Lords of Deliverance series, I have Revenant coming out, and that is the last book in the series for now. Oh, I was going to say. <gasps> yeah. it, 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 <laughs> it wraps up all of the arcs. Um, it has a definite... It's got a definite conclusion, and just so everybody knows, yeah, it's the end for now, and the reason I'm just going to do novellas for a little while um, and concentrate on the Moonbound series is because I plan on jumping 20 years ahead and writing about the children in the Demonica series next. So the, horse, so the horsemen and the Demonica people, their kids will be all grown up and they're going to get stories. But I need a little bit of space and time to do that because, you know, right now they're children in my head. Yeah. And um, so I'm going to do some novellas and concentrate on Moonbound for just a little while and then I'll, we'll get back to Demonica. Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, everybody go check out those books. I know I'm going to put them in my Kindle order. Um, so, yeah, everybody make sure to check out those books and check out all of the rest of her books. I'll leave them in the comment in the description below when I once this gets uploaded. But, yeah, thank you so much for coming on to this channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>